The Fashion Citizen Presents. Draw Your Life. I'm Stephanie. And I'm Melissa. And you know us as the Fashion Citizen. We were born in Houston, Texas, a month premature, and so my dad always said that my head was the size of a light bulb. A lot of people ask us about our ethnicity, so our dad is from a country in Central America, Honduras. He was a maintenance technician, so he basically could fix anything. And our mom was from a small town in Illinois. She was a jack of all trades who loved gardening, but her number one passion was being a mom. When I was two years old, I suffered a freak accident. I turned on the hot water while I was in the bathtub, and this is me in the bathtub. It left me with burns on my head and on my back, but thankfully it only really left me with a bald patch on my head that I can cover up. When we were four years old, our family decided it was time to pack up and move to the sunny state of Arizona where we've lived ever since. Something you may not know about us is that when we were younger we had extremely long hair and our mother would not let us cut it until we reached the 6th grade and Melissa really hated it. So during elementary school we were just basic average kids. We were obsessed with Beanie Babies, boy bands, and Britney Spears. Little known fact is that Stephanie was a huge tomboy. She loved a good pair of carpenter pants and even though we had friends we mostly stuck together. So when I was in the fifth grade, I suffered a horrible asthma attack and I could not breathe. I actually ended up passing out in the back of my mom's car and I'm not gonna lie, I thought I was going to die. But the cool part was I got to take a helicopter ride to the hospital, even though I don't remember any of it. So during our middle school years, we did go through that awkward scene phase. Don't lie, you went through it too. We both had asymmetrical haircuts, and yes, we did rock the always fashionable, very questionable leggings under denim skirts. So during high school is when we really started getting into fashion. I was super girly, I had huge hair, and I wore a ton, and I repeat, a ton of accessories. I was obsessed with flouncy tank tops, anything with a belt, and over-the-top earrings, and I always had a signature bob haircut. So during high school, we got our first real jobs at Sunflower Farmers Market as courtesy clerks, which is basically a fancy way of saying we brought in carts and bagged groceries. We worked there for two whole years and it really taught us a lot about hard work and time management. So during my senior year, I struggled with acne dysmorphic disorder, which led me to believe that my acne was 10 times worse than it actually was. And in the end, I actually thought about taking my own life, but today I'm a lot better. So right after we graduated high school, our parents decided it was time for them to divorce, and although it wasn't a shock, it really changed our lives forever. After our parents divorced, I let my depression get the best of me, and I quit various jobs, and to be honest with you, looking back on it, it's really embarrassing and I'm kind of ashamed of it. Although we were always avid thrifters, once we got out of high school, we started thrifting hardcore. We seriously went thrifting almost every day of the week. I honestly don't remember why I wanted to start making videos, but I remember I had to convince Melissa to invest in a camera, and when she bought me one, her only deal was that we had to stick with it. So in 2011, our mom started dating Greg, and she brought him home to meet us, and Stephanie and I instantly knew that we liked him. He was really funny, had a great sense of humor, and a true gentleman. So in August 2011, our mom was diagnosed with stage 4 lung cancer, and it came as a shock to us because we weren't sure how doctors could misdiagnose something so serious. On January 3rd, 2012, our mother lost her battle with cancer. Throughout the last two years, Greg has been a big part of our lives. He's a retired nurse with a huge sense of humor and a love for the Wisconsin Badgers. He's helped us transition into adulthood and always reminds us to strive for success. He will always be a part of our family. Education has been a big part of our lives throughout the last few years, and we definitely consider ourselves people that love to learn. We've taken classes ranging from serial killers and mass murderers, fashion merchandising, to philosophy, ballet, sociology, women in films, art history, owning and operating a small business, basically a little bit of everything. 
And this is our lives today. We're extremely blessed to be able to support ourselves and live with the family that we truly care for. That includes Greg, our fat cat Jane, our other fat cat Jim, and our dog Luna, who actually isn't green as pictured in the video. We are still continuing our education, and although we've taken a step back from our YouTube, it is still a big part of our lives. We know our mother would be extremely proud of us. We never thought we'd have as much fun with this YouTube channel as we have, and we're so glad you guys were able to come on this journey with us. We don't know what the future holds, but we're very happy with where we are today.